thing in your book, you've got at least 50, about 55 sayings or so. And one of them is faith is designed to take you out of your comfort zone or out of my comfort zone into the unfamiliar to increase my capacity to receive. So in other words, I want to receive, but I want to receive in the same comfort zone. Right, right, right. right. How do we on a day-to-day -day basis transform where we want to be to where we are? Because all of us want to be where we want to be. We see the prize, but we don't want to change where we are right now. Talk to us a little bit about that. That's so That's so great of a statement and a question. Um, thank you, Pastor. Um, we have to understand this one thing, that the increase is in the unfamiliar. Mm. The increase that we desire never resonate in the place of the familiar because the place of the familiar has, has reached its limits. And so if we're going to get increased, we have to go into a new place of the unfamiliar because everything has been exhausted in what we know. So when God begins to shift you, he begins to take you from a place that you have been exhausted at where you have used all that you have because he's trying to put you into a place that's familiar to him, but unfamiliar to you. So it's not unfamiliar to God. Come on. It's unfamiliar to us. Mm -hmm. But what God wants us to do, the gateway to the unfamiliar, number one, is vulnerability. Mm. You have to be vulnerable to God. Bishop Jake says this all the time. He says you have to go into a place awkward. You have to go into a place vulnerable. And you got to go into the place depleted not knowing everything and when yeah. you step into the place of unfamiliar you got to rest to sure that you're not going to know anything that's when the spirit of god begins to speak to us that's when the spirit of god begins to give us turn by turn direction because now we're in a place where we can trust him where we can trust and every other voice is silent and when every other voice is silent, we can hear the clarity of God's voice. And sometimes we hear it and we unforsure. But when we stay in the place of the unfamiliar, it begins to insulate us from the familiar voices of our past or the place of comfortability, because now we're in a place of isolation where God can begin to speak and God can begin to increase our capacity. Why? Because we're ready to receive. Jabez says this, and I talked about this on Sunday. He said, Lord, increase my territory. When God increases your territory, he always do it with change. And change begins to disrupt the normalcy of the day. It begins to shift everything in your life. Why? Because we pray to God for change. And God begins to disrupt our normal everyday life and push us into a place beyond our comfort to a place where we can only trust him. I declare tonight that God wants to push you into a place that you can only trust him because it's the place where increase is waiting. Increase is waiting in unfamiliar territories. Some stuff that you're praying to God for, you got to step into it because the increase is going to be there. You have exhausted where you are and God is saying shift, change, and trust me so he can begin to allow the unfamiliar to be the place of increase.